Well, hello guys, now look at this headline. What a great news headline. Being woke is linked to unhappiness, anxiety and depression, study finds. Now I'm not a professor, but I already goddamn knew that. And apparently it also affects the mental well-being of that person who is woke. Well, not a surprise again. Of course, falling short of saying that mostly femons are woke, it did provide a couple of pictures in the news item, and here they are. Right. Looks like most of them, or all of them, are femons yelling and screaming here, and one's got a speaker to make it even louder. Now, here's something that happened to me today. Actually, I was going for a walk. And I walked pretty fast, so I walked past this feminine who was taking a dog for a walk, and she was on the phone, yelling goddamn down it. And we had to go through a kind of a tunnel that went under a road. And I got halfway, and she got into the tunnel, yelling down her phone, which vibrated all the way through the tunnel. You know, I turned round to her and said, Would you shut up? You can't even take a dog for a walk without goddamn gobbing all the way through it. And I said, I'm going for a walk, and I don't want the sound of your voice vibrating through my head. And then I walked off. And I kind of looked back and she was standing there with her phone in her hand, away from her face. Kind of a shocked look on her face. But at least her dogs gave me the thumb up. I'm not usually that rude with strangers, but God damn it, they never shut up, do they? Anyway, here's another picture they had in the news item. Oh, it's another femon with strangely coloured hair, of course. We all know, don't we, who's pushing the wokeness? Wokeness doesn't come from a male brain, it comes from a femon brain. Because it's always failed, and it's mostly gobbledygook. And I reckon the study's quite right, because I've never seen a femon who's really woke that is happy. Have you? I'll put a link to the news item down below, I didn't actually read hardly any of it. I was too damn excited. But it probably cost a lot of money and took a bit of time. And yet they could have just phoned me and I would have told them all that anyway. They've also forgot to mention that wokeness and feminism are very closely linked. And always, the common denominator is a femorn. You know, this headline is maybe kind of giddy. I really do feel like a peroni, but it's only Tuesday night. I could break the law, but I'll have to wait and see. You take it easy, guys.